Hey guys, it's Thursday morning. Um, the Airstream's coming on great. We've got uh, almost completely gutted now. Uh, so far, if you're interested in how long this process has taken me, I have spent a full day on Sunday, a half day Monday, a half day Tuesday, and a half day Wednesday. So a total of two and a half days labor in the Airstream to go from a trailer we could have camped in to this. Uh, by the end of today, I'll have the rest of the subfloor out and the whole belly pan off. And then uh, from there, I can really make the decision as to whether I'm gonna pull the body off the frame or not. Um, it's looking more and more like I'm going to, uh, which seems to be par for the course for people uh, renovating Airstreams. Every video we've watched, the it starts with, oh, hopefully I wanna take the body off. It's the frame looks like in good shape to their next video where they're like, I'm going to have to take the body off. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm staying optimistic. I don't want to take the body off. However, I did find some damage in the back, uh, where the body should be sitting in the, in the C channel. So this had some damage to the roof. Uh, it was pretty clear a tree had fallen on the trailer. Uh, it had like a, a perfect dent in the roof, which I didn't think was a big deal at the time, because I, I could I figured I could push it out from the inside. I had planned to gut it. Uh, however, what I didn't think about is aluminum and everything being one unit with the tree impacting in the center of the roof. It caused the bottom to to bow out just a little like that, like because when it pushed in the middle, the bottom. So now I've got a section on each side of that back door where the body's not really sitting in the C-channel. You can see daylight through there. Uh, the people who owned this before just caulked it with some sil silicone caulking. So that's maybe, maybe a pointer. Uh, if you're looking for an Airstream and there is damage to the roof, check around the body below it. Uh, Cause it didn't, it didn't even occur to me to, 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 to that it would flex by the imp the force from the roof would cause the bottom to flex. So I. I was even laying on the ground underneath the back of the trailer and I didn't notice this. But I'm going to get to work, we'll see what happens and uh, I'll touch back in a bit.
Okay guys, that's the interior gut completely done now. We have uh, subfloors out, the wheel wells are out, the flooring insulation out, the belly pan is off, I got all the water tanks out. Um, everything is off the body now that needs to be taken off so I can lift the body off the trailer. I do realize that right now I'm not doing a very good job of pausing while I work to explain what's going on. I'm also not doing a very good job of summarizing uh, what took place in the video at the end of the video. So I'm going to work a lot harder at that. Uh, stay tuned for the next video that will cover taking the body off the frame and getting the frame ready to go to sandblasting. Uh, I hope you're still with me. Uh, like this video and subscribe and you can follow along on the journey as we try to put this trailer back together and hopefully uh, I will gain some more experience and get better at making these videos. Thanks a lot and we'll see you next time.